Yeah. So before going to this uh, software testing methodologies, uh, earlier only we have discussed about the waterfall model, uh, iterative development, and you have gone through V model, RAT model, and different types of model. So all these models are comes under the picture of this SDLC. Do you agree with my point? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So in this SDLC, so what is meant by SDLC means software development, development life cycle. Life cycle. Okay. So under this software development life cycle, what are the major phases? First one is the requirement. Second one is the analysis. Third one is the design. Fourth one is the coding. Fifth one is the testing. And sixth one is deployment. And sometimes they will call it as maintenance. And present now they call it as a DevOps. Okay, is it clear? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so before going to all these methodologies, we have to learn or we have to know about who are all play the roles in this SDLC phases. Okay, so before going to the phases, we need to know about the roles and responsibilities of the stakeholders who are in these phases. Okay, so first, BA. BA means business analysis. BA means business analysis. Okay. Coming to analysis part. So here, including business analysis, PL, project lead or project manager. Okay. PL means project lead or project manager. Okay. Next, design part. Okay. So, design part. ACT means architecture. Architecture. Okay. PL means again project lead. PL means testing lead or lead. Okay. Depends upon the organization and it varies from project to project. And next, coding. So, coding will be done by the dev team. Dev team means development team. Okay. Dev team means development team. Development team. Okay. Then testing. Who will do the testing? Testing, testing department. Testing team. Testing. 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 testing team will do the testing. So testing. once the testing is completed, it will be handed over to deployment. Okay. So who will take care of this? Either operations team or developers. Developer DevOps. Or developers, DevOps. Okay. Is it clear? Clear. Okay. Yes, sir. Nisham, uh, can you turn off your video? Yeah. Is it clear? Any doubts? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So, first we will go to know about what is meant by requirement, okay? So I will try to give you an example, okay? See, uh, suppose uh, I will get the answers from your people only. Uh, yeah, Afrin. Oh. Yeah, Afrin, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. Okay, so assume that uh, you are having uh, a one acre of land, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you want to construct a house. That is your main agenda. Okay. okay. So, okay. just take an example of that particular scenario by filling the dots with all these faces. Okay. So, first, mm -hmm. what is your requirement to construct your own house? Land. Land. Okay. So, you procure the land. You got the requirement. Then, you will do the analysis. Okay. So what type of analysis you do? How much uh, sand do I need and all? Yeah, how much sand, how much cement, how much iron, 
okay yeah, how, how many bricks and all yeah, i need to analyze all the requirements yeah, you need to analyze each and every pin to pin right how many yes. days does it will complete okay yes, is it for ground floor first floor okay do you yeah, require okay. the compound wall or do you require the security measurements okay do you have do you need require the uh, car parking and what how much labor required uh, what type of uh, interior design you required everything should be analysis right yes sir and yes, sir. you and you need to analyze how much cost should be has to invest for that mm. okay and you need to if you want to go for loan how much loan does the bank give so you need to get the information about which bank will give how much rate of interest what is the tenure period everything should be analyzed am i right or wrong yes sir you are right okay so once your analysis is completed then you will go to design right you will go to the builder to get the plan right yeah. so how okay. many rooms you want how many bedrooms you want how many hall you want what is the size of the hall what is the size of the bedroom okay what is the size of the garden what is the size of the compound wall everything should be given by whom design design so he is the architect designer of particular your house okay then coming to the coding so here <coughs> okay here who will come who will construct all those things mysteries labor yeah labor mystery workers yeah so every day they will do some work okay okay they will come by morning they will do the work and they will go by evening right am i right or wrong yes sir yeah so by as a owner of this land or house what you do in the every day evening you go on test test right? what they do in the from the morning to evening right? evening if yes, they sir. have any corrections or modifications then again you will tell to whom uh, the design team by, by okay so he will correct and he will tell to them right yes sir okay if you want to change the entire plan then you will go to the right requirements yeah then again you want to if the requirement changes then our cost of uh, investment also oh, is right changes yes sir it might be vary depends if you want to more features increase if you want to reduce it will decrease right mm -hmm. okay so once everything is completed everything is stable then ready to occupy so who will they hand over to the owner So to the then, owner then who will maintain the house owner the house owner yeah so here the house owner is the customer or client client okay i thought this example might be clear for you okay now coming to as a software terminology perspective okay suppose if you want to get a project or if you want to get a client okay so mm -hmm. we need to have one business analysis so what does this business analysis will do he will go into the market he will search into the market what are the latest trends what are the latest technologies are going in the market so he will study that one and he will prepare one document okay <coughs> okay he will uh, give a document on that one then whatever the implementation has given by him is it approved from the higher management okay then okay. only this analysis picture will come okay so okay. in this analysis part they will discuss about they will they will discuss about okay what is the cost of this project okay uh, how much we will charge from the client what is the team size how many resources will require for the development how many resources will require for the testing team how many resources will require for the operations team okay and what the what is the duration of this project how many years we want to run this project in how many ways we will deliver the features so everything should be comes under this part okay so once this got approved then design part so in this design part okay they will make it okay a secure level okay so they want it in more secure level application so architectural design should be there okay so i will give one example guys so in whatsapp or in some social media charts you will get something like uh, 
Amazon sale is going, please click on this link. Uh, you will get some coupons like that. So some okay. packages will get, right? So okay. if you see everywhere, okay. So there is an <coughs> lock symbol here. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir, we can. So this lock symbol represents that website is safe and secure. Okay, how to came this safe and secure means it is HTTPS, means hypertext transfer protocol secure. Okay, if S is not there, then it is not secure. If you check one time, if you click on that link, so here the lock will be not there. Sometimes red indication will say. So automatically they will try to hack your devices. So don't click on that links and don't encourage such type of things. Okay. So who will yes, do these all security things to make your application secure from the hackers and uh, to everything from this? This architecture team will do design the applications to overcome the effects from the hackers. Okay. <coughs> okay. So yes, uh, coming to coding development team involved in this okay so development team what will do so they will decide in which language they want to develop the application either java either python either sql either dot net either rupee okay so different type of languages they will try to develop the application and in the analysis part they will came to know which type of application they want to build <coughs> so is it a web application is it a mobile application or is it a hybrid model okay is it only for particularly one client or is it uh, open source to all or is it only applicable for android or for ios okay is it a gaming application which will be support in only in the android or some in pc everything should be come under finalized in this part so basing on the finalization the developmental team will start coding so mm -hmm. once the coding coding has to be decided by the development team so they will come to know which language they want to develop the application so i told previous some languages right so java sql python ruby html dot net okay so they will decide so once they start developing the application okay they will do basing on the requirement Basing on the requirement, the developer team will do coding. Okay. Then once coding team will be com uh, complete, they're developing, it will be hand over to the testing team. So our job will be begin from this phase. Testing team job will be begin from this phase. Okay. So we will test the application. We will test the application. We will identify what is our job. So we need to identify any or any issues or Bugs. any errors in the Bugs. application. <coughs> okay. So we need to identify, we need to address those issues or defects or errors to the team development team okay so what the development team will do again they will fix our errors and again they will come to the testing team for testing so it is like a change click process it will go wrong and wrong when until the application is bug free or error free or issue free then only the application will be stable Whenever the application is flawless, then they will provide a demo to the client or customer. If the customer satisfied with the application, they will say, please put this application into the live. market. Okay. So once handing the application stable and everything, then it will come into the maintenance part. Maintenance. <laughs> Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So here, now here, the business analysis give the input. So what the output will come? Requirement document. Requirement document. Okay. Basing on this requirement document, 
the analysis discussion will be happen in this analysis they will agree for this earlier requirement or they might do some changes or they will give you some suggestions for that and this has to be finalized in this part okay so mm -hmm. after this what this design people will do basing on this requirement document they will do the architectural design basing on the requirement document the development team will do the coding basing on this requirement document the our sorry the testing team will write the test cases and they will test the application right so what is the key source for our testing for requirements requirement requirements. document okay so this requirement document in some organizations they will call it as a srs or some organizations they will call it as a source document some some organizations they will call it as a functionality document okay <coughs> whatever the naming terminology is generic terminology was requirement doc requirement okay so this how this requirement document will be look like in some organizations they will keep it as in word okay they will keep it as in a word document and they will give it to you okay in few organizations they will represent with pictorial form so they will give it as a wire frames okay and some organizations they will keep it as like this flow chart so it depends upon organizations it does not have a specific manner to be like that okay so now so it about, can have different templates to be represented yes i hope is it clear now i think sdlc for everyone yes sir yes, sir it is yes, clear so sujit your doubt is addressed right yes yes okay so now coming to this testing methodologies you have discussed about waterfall model v model iterative okay. model okay <clears throat> so in present market these models are not existing okay so why we want to learn about these models is so you need to know about the process okay you need to know about the process and you need to know about how the organization level how the organization will be work okay so before this discussion you have no about okay testing means developer team will be some give some coding and we will do testing but no so this is the process okay so by following this process at present every organization is following agile methodology every organization is following agile method. agile methodology okay so why why this agile methodology was more success and why every organization is working on it okay so if you see this okay are you able to see my screen yes sir yes sir so yes, sir. see here whatever the topics we have discussed about strategy goals vision budget value estimation release so everything should be comes under in a proper way okay hello yeah yeah please go ahead sir not clear sir not clear for you only are everybody is able to clear no sir it is clear here okay sir, my, please no. zoom in okay i will increase the zoom size now is it clear sir no problem sir yeah while going the class some somewhere it is it's not okay. clear fine see so in this agile methodology okay so from the micro level to top level management each and every resource what they are doing daily hourly they can easily trackable they can easily trackable and the client or the 
customer will came to know how much work has done by the each resource and how progress the project is going and what are the features and functionality is implementing and what the discussions are happening everything should be visibility from top level management to minor level management <clears throat> okay so how this agile methodology will works so this agile methodology entire session will be taken by pramod by i to i thought by this weekend okay just i will give the overview of this agile and how it will work and how is the organization level it will work okay so in this agile methodology a person will be there who will do entire the things was this role we call it as a scrum master okay scrum master so what he will do he will make entire plan for this sprint okay so in the agile methodology the sprint will be either two weeks or one month or four weeks okay they call it, they call it as a sprint two weeks as a sprint or some organization they will call it as a one month <clears throat> so every two weeks first day they will schedule a sprint plan meeting okay in that sprint plan meeting okay they will discuss about what are all the things we do we will do in this week so which resources is working on which feature which functionality and how many hours he will work okay they will divide and plan and they will give the capacity for the each and every resource depending upon their hours okay so why we are discussing about the hours means according to our working hours 9 hours per day okay 24 bar 7 okay 8 hours is official but in the software it sector we need to work for 9 hours okay so 1 hour is something like break and we need to work for 8 hours okay so they will give the capacity of 8 to 8.5 hours so you need to every day you need to work for 8 hours and you need to next day you will have a scrum call in that scrum call you need to update everything even one small work or you have discussed with your internal team what you discussed also you need to address in that meeting okay so why we need to this means each and every resource what they are doing should be visibility okay and <clears throat> once the sprint is completed okay so every sprint at the end of the sprint okay they need to give a demo to the customer or they need to provide a demo to the client what they work on the entire week so it is like continuous monitoring and vigorously working within the team there is a coordination from each team to team so which resource is working on which functionality and whatever the issues are coming whatever the uh, sorry whatever the issues are coming and what they, does the team is facing any issues sometimes uh, servers might be get slow okay you don't know whom to address you will just put a chart okay into the common team this server is not working we are unable to work then respective team who was working in the same group they will respond and they will try to solve the issue okay if you not do that one then your entire day will go okay so in this every hour every minute is countable okay and few organizations okay as a testing team we need to identify minimum 4 to 5 bucks per day how many bucks how many different 4 to 5 bucks 4 to 5 okay if you if you identify 4 to 5 bucks then uh, that day your job is done you can uh, work uh, you can sit around so you can do whatever you want but you need to address 
you need to identify minimum four to five bucks. Okay. Assume that there are in a testing team, there are five people out there. Okay. So in that five people, daily they need to identify minimum five bucks. So Monday to Friday, five days. How many bucks will come for up to five days? 15. 25. 25. 25. 25. 20, 25. So, enter with 25 bucks. I am telling each member has to identify five bucks. So five team members are there. 25. So one, 125. 125. 125. 125. Okay. So for two weeks, how many it will come? 250. 250. 250. 250. 250. 250. So this count will reflect, okay, that application is it stable or still it required to fix the issues? It it to fix the issues. Okay, so these entire 250 bucks will go into whose bucket? Developers bucket. Developer bucket. Developer bucket. Developer bucket. Developer. Right? So what is our role as a tester? To identify the to identify error error. minimal count of five defects. Okay, so it might be medium, minor, or major, whatever it might be. So I'm just telling you to identify five defects. In a team of five testing team, so they are addressing daily 25 defects. So, like this type of continuous doing, does it makes the application flawless or it does it make a Bug application. Flawless. Flawless. So, Flawless. We are... At the end of the day, which methodology is making to work out this one? Agile. Agile method. Agile method. Okay. Agile. So, why this agile methodology you will came into now? Sir, what happens with the visibility? So, if you identified any major or any blocker, any critical issue, so you were testing effort will be addressed to the higher man or client. Okay, this resources is working. This resources is identifying so many issues. He was good his work. So it will reflect in your work. work. Okay, in your salary. Okay, so in your hike. Okay. So in some organizations, the sprint will be two weeks or some organization will be take it as a four month. One so, month. month. Yeah. So in your interview also, they will ask, are you following agile methodology? Yes. You need to tell. Yes. So what will make your company if they follow agile methodology? Okay. So every company or every organization, every quarter, they will do some auditing. Okay. In that auditing, Basing on the process, basing on the methods, okay, what they are following, what they are implementing, depending upon them, they will give some grade for them. CMMI level one, level two, level three, level four, okay, level five. So if you have worked under CMMI level five, if you want to move to another organization, automatically your pay scale will be you Hi. can demand it for more. Okay. So, this agile methodology will not visible into the front end, but it will make you to work you on time and you will be keep your work without any pending. Okay. And whatever the work you are doing, it will be visible to entire team and it makes the application robust and flawless. So, do you agree with my points? What I told? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Clear. Yes. Okay. So, you can see the advantages. It is possible to make the changes in project at any time to comply with requirements. So, in the incremental model, V model, if you want to change the requirement, again, you will go to the first and again, you will come back. But in the yes, agile model, it is fully flexible. Okay, wherever you want to do the changes on the requirement, you can easily push it that one. So what happens this one? It will minimize the risks. It will minimize the risk. So 
what is the disadvantage so the disadvantage was constant client interaction so you need to every day what is done what are you doing what you are doing also this is i am doing i am writing the test cases i am testing the application i am identifying this defect so i complete so every day you need to give the updates it will give the pressure to the team and to the entire team so it will give indirect pressure to the resources okay okay is it clear guys yes sir okay so sir one yeah. doubt yeah. sir is it a time taking methodology no so no. the time frame of this agile methodology was two weeks every sprint they will do and four weeks four weeks so it will be continue cycle process until the project will be go to the live yes sir okay uh, is sir uh, like, uh, in a gen in yeah. a generic scenario can we uh, uh, understand like uh, how long would it take to complete a whole project in this two weeks sprint time they might have developed one uh, released one sprint so yeah. how many sprints like a project can go yeah so good question so it will comes your answer will be there in the analysis part in the analysis they will design what is the duration of the project right yeah So based yeah. on the duration of this project, okay. they will design this sprint. Sprint. So that's why I told that SDLC model, flow diagram. Then you came to know, right? So what is the interlink? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now. stop sharing this so this testing methodology we have discussed it, and now we are going to discuss about le <coughs> levels of testing okay hello yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yeah see you need to understand this levels of testing clear okay so uh -huh. try to understand this levels of testing it will help out you for in the different types of testing if you don't understand the levels of testing you cannot understand the types of testing oh okay so there are mainly four levels in this levels of testing okay so first one is unit testing second one is integration testing third one is system testing and fourth one is acceptance acceptance okay so just uh, we will discuss about each and everything in a generic way okay so what is meant by unit small small part smallest part of the Okay. Single program. Okay. Smallest part, unit part, part of application. A single, a single component. A single part. Repeater or single functionality, right? Yes, okay. So assume that. Okay. So if you are a doctor, okay. Assume that if you are a doctor, a patient came for you for a consultation, okay. So you want to, you you are a something like you are a orthopedician doctor just assume that you are a orthopedician doctor okay a patient came with a pain of right hand okay hello yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. A, patient, yes, sir. a patient came with a pain of right hand we are orthopedician doctor now we are orthopedician doctor so what you will test you will test only the right hand or you will test both hands but the right hand you will test the hand also if the uh, uh, sujit uh, please uh, listen my word okay at the initial level yeah at the initial level what doctor will examine to the patient 
what is the main what is the problem then that oh, only doctor can say okay problem. good the reason similarly, of happening similarly similarly the development team in the initial level they does not give the entire application they does not develop the entire application in one shot they will do it in phase by phase level by level functionality by functionality feature by feature okay they will give one 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 component okay okay so the testers will do at the initial level they will do one one module one one functional feature okay so they will do each and every individual component testing such type of testing is called unit testing <laughs> such type of testing is called unit testing. unit testing unit testing okay then integration testing second is integration testing so this word integration irritates for all mass people right yes. those who came from the mass background it was good sir am i right yes it will troubles us more lot in our class yes, sir right it won't leave us in our graduation also so single integration double integration triple integration m1 mm right mm -hmm. am i right or wrong yes sir so yes, sir. this integration part will also be there in the testing also so what is meant by integration so first you need to understand this word so integration so this integration means any similar elements or dissimilar elements combining called integration, integration. Am I right yes, sir. okay so you are combining either both similar elements or either you are combining dissimilar elements right yes. hello hello yes sir so yes, come back to our uh, earlier example same orthopedic and doctor and patient now the doctor has tested his right hand okay and he have given some band type that to the right hand okay so the patient went for uh, uh, some medication and he again came back after 5 days okay so what the doctor will do he will check only his hand or does he will check his wrist limb shoulder part also he will check shoulder part also okay so the limb and the elbow part is both are dissimilar elements right both are both are similar or dissimilar yes. hello dissimilar sir Dissim dissimilar but Dissim. what the orthopedician orthopedician doctor will doing he is testing both Check over the bones and limb so here in our software terminology also testing the both same type of elements or dissimilar elements at a time is called integration, integration. testing okay so i will give one more example for this okay so i hope uh, everybody is uh, know about bike riding right everybody will do bike driving right yes sir okay so so yes, sir. we need to start the bike right so first what we will do we will insert the key where the key has to place right yes so the key is a single so it is a unit so after turning on the key whether the bike is getting started or not so combining of verifying of or testing of dissimilar or similar elements is called integration testing okay yes sir now system test it is like a complete uh, ct scan or mri scan right hello yes hello. Sir. yes sir so what does this mean so it will test <laughs> entire the application from the top to bottom from the initial level to end level from the starting level to final level 
So such type of testing is called system, system testing. Test. Okay, so let's same example. Okay, so doctor given the treatment and he tested his elbow and limb, but he want to examine complete his hand, whether he can able to rise or he can able to bend down, he can able to write, whether his fingers is working fine or not. Okay, whether he can able to fold, whether he can able to turn. So entire complete thoroughly testing of entire his issue or his whatever the problem he came to. So such type of testing is called system, system testing. System test. Test. testing. Okay. Now coming to acceptance testing. Acceptance testing. Who will do this acceptance testing? Testers are long Client. Users. Okay. Client. Client. The users. Client. users. Okay. So there might be some confusion or there might be some uh, misunderstanding of this acceptance system. Because in some organizations or some projects, okay, the client will be there. The client will be there and he will do the UAT. So they will call it as a UAT. UAT means user, user, user acceptance testing. Okay. So what does this do? Okay. So entire everything is completed. Okay. But if the customer, if the client does not satisfied with the feature, does not satisfied with the functionality, or does not satisfied with whatever the implementation done by the team, okay, then they have to do the rework. Why? Because he is paying for the company, right? Right? It is his product to itself. So we have to do the changes, we have to do the modifications, we have to do the corrections, whatever the client or customer has given their inputs. Okay. So this acceptance testing vary from organization to organization. See, few organizations are product-based and few organizations are project-based. So this word we have discussed in earlier level, right? So who will give the answer for this product and project? What is the difference between product and project? You, if we made anything, if we made software according to the scientific requirement, okay. um, we simply call this project. Okay. We develop anything according to the market, the market uh, requirement. According to the market or company based. Uh, Simply when we say in one liner uh, product is uh, basically uh, ordered for, uh, for one person uh, in his uh, specified requirements mm -hmm. and a product is uh, developed Based on the on consolidated uh, requirement for a large uh, uh, customer base. Okay. So, yeah, good. So, I will give one generic example for this acceptance testing. So, I hope you have everyone gone to the test drive of vehicles, right? Yes. yes. Okay. If yes. any vehicle which was came into new into the market, so we will go and do the test drive, right? Yes. So the people or the rep who was working in this particular company, they will explain all the features. Sir, this car is having this feature, this much mileage. They will tell about whatever the marketing strategies and the techniques to sell the product to the person, right? Yes. But as a user, what we will do, we want to do the test drive, right? Yes. What we will do in the test drive, whatever the features, whatever the functionalities, whatever the flexibilities explained by the rep are mentioned in the catalog, does it was implemented or does it is working fine? We will do we'll the test drive. We will do and we will verify that. If we satisfied, then only we will go and purchase that product. If we don't feel comfortable or if we don't uh, feel happy with that, what we will say? Okay, we will come again. See you soon like that. We will say simply and we will escape, right? Yes. yes. So same level. If any organization does not have a client, 
okay they internally first level of uat will do the management okay they will do the manager or project manager they will do the uat if they if they are satisfied then they will show this to the clients or customer if the clients or customer are accepted with the features and functionality then they will take this to project okay vice versa if client is already there then they will give the functionalities features whatever they implemented okay they need to showcase their features and functionality to the client so the client will test what the functionality is implemented by the developers guys i am telling if you are having a client who was doing the uat while testing the client application if he address any issues or defect then that day you will get big hangama why the testing team was miss this issue this could yes. we come to the testing team yes okay so that's why every day you need to do test the application thoroughly at the time of client demo you need to be cautious you need to be on to so suppose entire application will not done by the client they will take some features and functionality you will be suppose sujit is working for some login if you face any problem with the login then that day sujit will gone okay so that's why every day every time whatever the feature and functionality we are working so until the application or feature stable robust then you need to continuous testing you need to okay so today we have discussed about the testing methodology and the testing methodology we discussed about the sdlc in this sdlc we have discussed about the models sorry phases in that phases what are the roles and responsibilities who are the stakeholders involved in that one and what is the input giving and what is the output coming and we discussed about the agile methodology okay and we have came to the types of sorry levels of testing right level okay levels of so testing. so please go through this and tomorrow we will discuss about uh, pyramid testing after that types of test okay okay sir one sir one question sir yeah i am yes. stopping sharing and i am stopping recording just one minute